So picture this. A few days ago, I was at the gym in the locker room, putting away my shit. So I got my backpack out, got my clothes out, you know, start changing and all that, looking jacked as fuck in the mirror, just kind of taking a little, like, just taking a few glances at myself, <clears throat> getting them flexes in. And as soon as I finish up, all right, I'm all set. Close up my backpack, turn, put the locker back, put the lock back on the locker, close it, boom. All right, put on my backpack, get ready to go. Walking out of the gym locker room, out of the bathroom. And as I'm walking out, there's this area in my gym, which is like the CrossFit workout, the CrossFit place. So it's like all this like fake grass and all the fake grass is just people that are doing CrossFit workouts or calisthenics. And I see this guy and he's literally just walking on his hands. <laughs> he, he's just, he's doing the handstand, but he's just, he's just walking around. I go over to him. I'm like, yo, bro, that's amazing. How'd you learn? How'd you learn how to do that? And he goes, oh man thank you bro i've been i've been practicing it for like a few days now i think i really got the hang of it and i said bro that's awesome like what how how long oh, okay fuck i lost my shit thought oh yeah what can, what else can you do with the with the handstand and he was like oh, i'm training to do the handstand push-up it's a little bit difficult but i'm pretty sure i'll get it soon i might have to wrap my uh, legs around this pole right here there was a pole like on the green the green field place like a big ass pole and he was using it to like kind of wrap his legs around it that way he'd have more stability for trying to do the push-up. But every time he tried doing the push-up, it's like his arms just didn't go like uh, fully extend. So it was like, yeah, I'm kind of struggling with it right now, but hopefully soon I'll get it. And I said, bro, what's your name? And he goes, oh, my name is Gavin. And I was like, bro, Gavin, all right. I'm AJ, nice to meet you. Real quick, bro, you're 100% going to hit it by tomorrow. By tomorrow, the next day I come in here, the next day I see you, I'm gonna see you doing full on five sets of 10 and he's like bro that's mad and I just look at him and I go it's gonna happen bro I trust in you you already learned to put the handstand in like what a few days bro you got this and he's like all right bad all right bad bro I got something to show you tomorrow 5 p.m I leave the gym boop, 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 boop. 23 hours go by it's 4 p.m hitting my good old workout and I finally do the locker stuff again okay I'm ready to leave come back out and I see bro over there and I, I'm, I'm saying, bro, I'm, I'm telling you this man over here, big ass. Oh, I forgot to describe Gavin to you. I'm at picture blue tank top, blue shorts, good old athletic shoes, Nike shoes, short hair, Mexican, of course, it's in the name. And then what? Like hazel eyes. So just from that. Oh, yeah. He's also tall as fuck. He's like at least six foot two six foot three the guys the guy's a tower so i'm looking at him and he's over here actually doing like what three handstand push-ups from what i from what i can tell and i went over him with so much like immense energy and i was like yo bro that's what's up that's the type of energy we need bro i look at him and he was like yo man i appreciate it bro i don't know how you did it but like something just clicked in my brain and i just did these fucking handstand push-ups as soon as possible when you left yesterday i spent like another 45 minutes just training on how I could extend my arms better and how I can get myself to hold my own form of gravity. And I was thinking, what a fucking beast. Holy shit. The only thing I did was just compliment him and to give him a random deadline. And here here he is just like actually achieving it. I gave him another dab up because I'm just like that. And I was like, yo, bro, fucking respect. One of these days I got to do these handstands with you, huh? And he was like, yeah, bro, that's true. That's true. Let me get your number so I can so we can like hit a workout sometime. And I was like, <laughs> I'm the person that asks the other person for their number. I'm usually the guy that initiates the con the contact details first. But this guy did a completely switcheroo on me. I, I wasn't even expecting this. Even I was a little bit taken aback and I was like, my my, that's the first. <laughs> so of course, got his number. If I hit a workout, probably most likely next week. My schedule's a little bit fucked up right now, but that's what I'm aiming for. And this is why I think giving compliments are so stupidly important. So first off, my name is AJ. I'm a socializer. Just scroll down right now and subscribe. I don't know what the, what are you doing, bro? Just scroll down and subscribe. And if you're interested in boosting your social skills, so you can become a socializer, talk to more girls, you know, get more friends, start going to more shit. Click the first thing in the description. That's my coaching package. I got you, bro. Also, what I'm going to be doing, just to have a look on my left, I'm going to be posting like, uh, how would I even call this? infield recording uh reaction videos yeah where i pretty much just like record yeah record the approaches and then i have audio on the side 
I'll react to them and then I'll break down the things that I did, the things that I shouldn't have done, the things that I should do more of. That way you and I can like really, really boost and improve ourselves. Because really, most, people, most of the time you just learn from copying. You just learn from taking the information, not the information, but kind of the mannerisms of what someone else was doing, implementing it into your own style, seeing where that, where that fits, and then using it as your own. So this is gonna be a tremendous boost. If you're interested in that, I'm gonna be doing it anyways, but like scroll down, just come with the word W. <laughs> it finally happened, huh? I was talking about this like about two months ago and now it's finally here. But yeah, that's the thing I'm most excited for. So with that being said, let's talk about what compliments actually do to a person and why we should be giving them out way more. So first off, compliments give off this really good positive reinforcement, which is whenever, when you com when you get complimented or when someone says a hey, good job or <laughs> praises you or gives you good energy for something that you've been doing or you've been working on, you'll be more likely to do that more often so that way you can get that praise again because that praise feels good. And as humans, we're drug addicts. We love what feels good. So let me talk about an example where this would be entirely horrible. Praising a girl on the internet for her attractiveness. This is horrendous. Honestly, it's really bad. Because think about it like this. A girl posts a half-naked picture of her on Instagram where she's doing literally nothing of quality, but she's just there with a nice ass and some good tits and an okay face. And then all these motherfuckers, all these guys will comment on there Oh, you look so beautiful, you look so stunning, you look so X, Y, and Z, you look so this, this, and that. Their psychology is pretty much telling them, okay, okay, whenever I take pictures like this, where half my body is showing, or no, 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 90% of my body is showing, I will be rewarded with positive feelings, positive emotions, positive this and that. So I should keep on doing it and see how far, even how, see how much further I can go with this and see how much more dopamine and rewards, this more bullshit I can get. And then that girl ends up being your future wife. <laughs> so you can obviously see how being too complimentative can go in a wrong way. But let's talk about the good way. Let's talk about the way where someone is doing something that you actually appreciate. Or for example, that guy doing the handstand. Bro, that man deserves the compliment. He deserves to be praised for the hard work because, well, he put in the hard work. And obviously when I do praise him, he's going to be more likely to do it again. So think about it like this. What is one thing you could praise someone else for? One compliment, one genuine word or sentence you can give to someone else that you could praise, not just based off what? Phys I, mean, I mean, physical attracting the scan lork. I mean, some guys in the gym, I usually compliment them up, be like, you're the biggest fuck, and they always appreciate that because I know that they I know that they put work in for their looks, right? Not if I just went up to some girl. Well, that's different. Not if I just like went up to some girl on Instagram and said, You're so pretty. Motherfucker, she hears that 10,000 times a day. You ain't no different. So, find that one person, make that your actionable step, and bro, it is honestly a delight. I don't think you understand how much of, a, like how much, how much it makes you feel whenever you compliment someone that's been doing hard work and you literally just give them a hug and you say, thank you for giving, thank you for doing hard work, or thank you for providing for us, or thank you for giving us food, or thank you for this and that and that. And you can see how I'm thinking providing it to family food, or family stuff. That's because I'm thinking of my own family right now. Actually, you know what? I'll do I'll do it myself. BRB. I'll keep this in. Whew. All right. <laughs> yeah, this is your actionable step, bro. Just go find someone that deserves a compliment. Give them that compliment and you'll under and within a few few days, few hours, how much time, you'll understand how much they'll grow and be more likely to change from that one compliment. It's life changing. Anyways. If you're on, if you made it to this point in the video right now, just come with the word 20. And whilst you're at it, book a social skills call with me because it will absolutely, undoubtedly change the way you see your social perceptions or change the way other people see you whenever you're so, or around them. You won't be seen as socially awkward, socially autistic, or you don't know what to say, you don't know what to do. You can have that charismatic vibe, bro. Trust. But yeah, book a social skills call. Join our legion if you haven't already and complete. <laughs> Please subscribe. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm tweeting. Yeah, come towards me. Don't be a dummy.